Hello and welcome. So I want to give you a little update on how sleeping on the floor has been for me over the last three and a half to four months, as well as share with you how I set my bed up. So as you can see behind me, it's not there. And that is because today is my weekly day of my bed hygiene routine, which basically just means I wash all my sheets and um, pillowcase and things like that, as well as take everything up from the floor, vacuum my whole room. I also wipe the surface where my bed actually actually lays and then I air out my duvet you can see it up on the door and I also just put my pillow in the sun just to like freshen everything up and um, yeah I make sure I do this once a week because I do not bring my bed up every day some people do do that because then they can use this you know the space more multifunctional which I think is awesome and maybe I will do that but I don't currently do that so I do have my little routine and yeah I will now to share with you how I put it all back together so I can go to sleep <laughs> So this is how you put a bed back together. You gotta dance first and then I lay down my yoga mat as like the beginning padding of my bed and then I usually find a few blankets. Um, right now I've got two that I just put on and that just gives a little extra cushioning and it also widens the bed so it's not just a yoga mat size. Um, and now I have my sheet which yeah just protects everything and I use my sheet to fold everything over and together so it's like nice and neat and organized and doesn't look like lots of different layers at different levels all spooling out over my floor so as you can see there's like a nice fold where everything fits together and then I just put my pillow on my put my pillowcase back on my pillow and then I'm gonna work on putting my doona into its cover which is always a pain because in this country they have these little tie things and then you have to flip it over and I often have to kick it into shape so it takes a little bit of time now I just fold everything over and we are done so now my bed is made, I can tell you about how I have experienced the last couple of months and it's interesting enough in that time I went back to sleeping in a conventional bed just because the room I was staying in for a few weeks didn't have enough space for my conventional bed and for me to sleep on the floor and it was really good because I got this great comparison between yeah my floor sleeping and just a normal bed and some of the things I really noticed was when I was waking up and when I was going to sleep and the difference it had on my body. So when I was in a conventional bed and I was trying to go to sleep, I would find that I would often be tossing and turning, trying to find a nice resting position for my body, and my body just couldn't feel at ease. I ended up taking like magnesium, I think, just to like get my body to relax. But when I'm on my floor bed, um, I just, I lie down and everything's evenly distributed. My weight is evenly distributed and I just feel like my body finds this really nice resting position. Everything feels in alignment and I can just go to bed so much quicker. Whereas in a conventional bed, I'm tossing and turning. I'm like changing my pillow position and all these things. Whereas in this bed, I just find one position, boom, and I go straight into deep sleep. I also notice when waking up, that I just didn't have as much stiffness. When I'm in like a conventional bed, your body just sinks into the bed so much more and it's all this cushioning. So you sink in and then your body gets all stiff and it just feels really uncomfortable or like it doesn't feel uncomfortable but then like trying to get out of bed is like oh it just doesn't feel very nice and you just feel all lazy and you feel like a couch potato because everything's just like sucking you into your bed and you're sinking in and so I found it really hard to wake up when I was in the conventional bed in this bed I wake up and I can relax in my bed for several hours if I want to but it's also I don't know it's got like this firmness so I can you know get uprightness quicker and I can get out of bed and just start my day if I want to so I found that another thing is like trying to wake up in the mornings was such a pain when I was in a conventional bed whereas this way it is it's so much nicer and much smoother process um another thing I noticed is my relief of pain I have struggled with back pain both upper and lower I've worked in restaurants since I was about 15 years old so it has been something I have struggled with just because I'm always on my feet and I definitely found it hard to relax in a conventional bed because I would find it hard to find a nice position where I didn't feel that pain but when I'm um, on my floor bed I just can find really good positions where I just don't feel that way in my body at all and it is so comfortable and it is really really nice and that is a great bonus for sleeping on the floor for me 
Another thing is I'm one of those people who do everything in my bed. I study, I sleep, I read, I relax, I just, I hang out in my bed and I do everything in my bed. And so I found that when I was in a conventional bed, it was definitely harder to stay focused when studying because you just kind of sink in and then you just become all lazy and you just feel like oh I just want to watch YouTube or do something like that I don't want to be focused and I find here it's a lot easier I can sit upright I can sit you know this I don't know I can sit cross-legged I can sit other ways I can lie on my stomach I can lie on my uh, I don't really I can't really do anything lying on my back in terms of study um, but I can just I can find these positions that make me feel like still upright and still like focused and then I'm not like just sinking into the bed which I found that was the way with a conventional bed and I also find that I just take better positions in my body whereas when I was in a conventional bed I'd put some pillows behind me and I'd just like lie like this basically and I'd put my laptop on my belly and I'd watch YouTube and things like that whereas you can't really do that I mean you could do that if I like creating my bed up against a wall but because my pillow is there um the only thing I can do is I can sit upright and I have just one pillow and I sit upright and it's really comfortable and I can do everything that way um or I can just lie on my tummy and do uh, you know do stuff like that as well but it's just I just find that I'm in much better positions when I am in a flat bed normal floor bed than when I am in a conventional bed I just have a better seating thing and also I feel like I've just created slightly better posture for myself as well because I am sitting like this and I have a firm surface underneath whereas when I sit like on my when I sit on a conventional bed I would often sink in and then my whole posture would become like this but because I'm sitting on the floor most of the time it then gives me this like uprightness where I'm like okay I feel upright now so I really like that and I also spoke about how you can use it as like a multifunctional space um because you can take up the bed, you can do exercise, you can like run around, I don't know, whatever you need to do that takes up a lot of space, you can do that very easily um, with, yeah, a floor bed because you can just roll it up and you can just put it away. And I also like that if friends come over, we're all on the same level. I remember when, you know, when I have a conventional bed and I have several people in my room, it's kind of hard because a couple of us will sit on the bed, some people sit on the floor, one person will sit on the chair and everyone's just at different levels. Whereas this way, everyone's just on the same level and we can all just sit around and chat. I mean, often people are like, why on earth do you sleep on the floor when they first walk into my room? But after that, they kind of, yeah, I don't know, they don't really care anymore. And I just find that really nice because we're all kind of on the same level. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I have so many positives about it. I should have written like a list or something before making this video, but I also thought maybe I could open it up for you to ask actually specific questions that you have for me um, because I know that, yeah, I probably won't answer them all in this video because I'm sure you have, yeah, very specific questions. So if you want to leave them in the comments below, I can, I don't know, maybe do a Q&A video on sleeping on the floor or I, if I don't get enough questions, I'll just answer them for you anyway in the comments and that way yeah you can get really like personal answers from me um about my experience and about what i have noticed so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video um and i hope it hasn't been too long since when you watched my first experience video and you're like why hasn't she done an update yet and it's because i really wanted to get a full a full like settlement of sleeping on the floor and I think three months four months is like a good amount of time to tell if you like something or love something or not so yeah for me it's a big thumbs up give it a go ask me some questions if you're unsure and yeah I don't know I I'm here and I'm, I'm so willing to answer any questions so anyway I can stop talking now so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video bye